with the furniture guys and this week they are teaching me a unique way to change the color of wood. We are? Joe and Ed, yes you Hi. are. Okay. We're How are you? happy to have you in studio. Well, we're happy to be here. So, you guys, you're trying to teach me to do something with this wood is easy. and I don't look, know if this so is so easy. You can make this can color really? at home. You the can make this will, at home. Look. Let's say you're you go to the park. Okay. And they just put some new benches in. Okay. And the benches are a normal colored wood like this. Right. This is oak. Some benches are in maple, other ba uh, uh, benches could be made of spruce. Okay. And over a period of time, you notice that the benches start turning gray. Right, oh. they change color. Do you know why? Uh, I guess it's uh, rain, yes, rain. I'm going to change. Uh, turn it over to Dr. Julius Sumner Miller here. <laughs> <laughs> Big white why? set and a lot of pens. Why does that happen? Rain comes down and picks up impurities from the atmosphere, especially iron that actually floats in the atmosphere, ferrous metals. Okay. And it imparts a color on ah, that wood. It changes. It chemically here. alters the wood. Now, this is specifically a decorative effect. This is not for everything. But let's say you go to an unfinished furniture store. Yes. The store is an unfinished. No, the furniture, the furniture inside. The store they're done completing. The store has doors and windows. So and you buy an Adirondack chair. Let's say. Okay. You can buy those in oak. Yes. <clears throat> and you don't want to wait for it. I personally like when things turn silver and gray. Right. And like pretty. my hair. Oh, it's look, it's here. It is very pretty. Yeah, it is nice. That raw look. <laughs> and you can enhance. You can speed that process up with what I'm going to show you. Okay, here. so this Replicating is Replicating nature. Yes, yes, it's a chemical reaction that you're going to Because nature is show random. Me. Just look at us. Okay, let's get to it because I want to see it. I'm now, excited now. First, this is a... Now, this is not what it is. I just put it in this, but you can't really it's see really it. not really pickles. But I'm going to pour some in here. It's, it's kind of a... It's a metal smell. Okay. And of course, what it's made of is rusty iron. And, and you just made this? Where I made this you, a few days ago. Iron? Well, I have, I, I have a wood shop, so okay. I have lots of screws. Right. You just wet them and throw them down the sun. So for sun. someone like me, I need to go get some yeah. screws. No, and you can actually use steel wool. <laughs> yes, yeah, steel oh, okay, wool. That I've got. You, not, you, not SOS or, okay. or you know, yeah. but, but regular steel wool, and you just wet it and let it sit out for a while. It'll okay. rust in a day. So I mix it with uh, vinegar. Okay. See that color? Yeah, it's don't drink that. Not Gatorade. Vinegar and water, equal amounts, and then rust the iron. Looks like swamp water now. It does. Now this is oak, okay. and if a wet oak, this so you is just put some water this on is your it. color, natural oak. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to keep that held up for a second. Hold so it up like that, and yeah. I'm going to. You'll see the tri the change immediately. You here. don't want this? No, I'm just going to use this brush. Fine. Oh, watch. You see it changing already? Wow. You're aging it much as you age yes. while you watch us do this kind of work. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is a chemical that was reaction, really quick. which once it dries turns into this. Isn't that gorgeous, rich and dark? Yes. Wow, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Well, now you can leave it like this, but you have to protect it. Right. If you wanted to do, and I've done this before because I worked with a lot of designers in my past. I've been doing finishing for 40 years, yes. 42 years. So sometimes there's a need for a decorative finish mm -hmm. on a tabletop that's mm -hmm. that is oak. Mm -hmm. This is oak. Oak's, oak's got a very wide and thick pore structure. You can see into it. Yes. You can see in all the grooves. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that is suitable for filling okay. with a decorative fill, a contrasting color, so in other a words. So, contrasting color. Yes. Step two yes. to the right. fabulous so step finish. Two, we're going to so go show me that. with this. Now, what is this that you have in uh, here? This is Plaster of Paris. Okay. Plaster of Paris. This but it's is made right here in the USA. <laughs> right. We didn't go to Plaster. And this of is a yellow uh, dry artist pigment. See? Okay. So, you it's just like put that in there? It's yellow. paint. Right. So, I'm going to color that. I'm going to put some water in there. I'm going to get a glove. Here, you put a glove okay, on. Okay, I will. I just got my nails done, guys. This isn't going to mess it up, is no, it? No, you got, that's why I brought okay. the glove. Thank you. All right. Okay, and it's a, see, it takes me a while because okay. my hand is bigger. <laughs> is this your first visit? You used my line. I'm going to... Oh, uh, man, we a made a little mess. No, I'm not doing anything. I it's have okay. to speak. So you get, you get this, and you mix it up. Okay. And I'm just going to put some on here. All right. Now... This is a lot like uh, arts in and circles. crafts at school. In circles. In circles. Yeah. Oh, circles. What arms. you're doing is you're forcing it into the pores of the wood. Okay. Now, take the glove off because right. you don't need that anymore. Yeah. Show me that finished product because we got to wrap up and once, I want to make sure. Once I see you do it that, you sand that off and then you finish it. Oh, that's and this beautiful. Is what you get. And the yellow uh, imparted from the color in the. Par plaster of Paris yes. is in it the pores. It filled all those pores. You could use red, you could use blue. I've done yes, it with you blue. You can do it with any color. Any color at all. You guys, you made me feel like I can actually do this. You, you can could. actually oh, do right. this. And you didn't even ruin your nails. I did not. See? Yes, <laughs> thank you, furniture guys. We're You're so happy to have welcome. you here. And Success. we'll be back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. We'll be here.